Hello and thank you for viewing this Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment video on electrolysis aimed at teachers used by anyone. Today's experiment we're going to be looking at the electrolysis of brine and we'll be investigating the products. This could be a demo if you like leading the questioning or a class practical if you want the class to develop their inquiry skills. So where will this fit into your scheme of work? Well, it's definitely after the electrolysis of binary compounds and the extraction of metals using electrolysis. But this video is about the introduction of electrolysis of aqueous solutions. But it definitely needs to be before the electrolysis required practical. Here's the suggested technician's request for this experiment. Power pack with a DC supply, two leads, two crocodile clips and two graphite electrodes. You need one U-tube, some sodium chloride crystals, or if your technician's uh, happy to make up some brine and some universal indicator solution. So first, dissolve your sodium chloride crystals in water. Best deionized water, if you can guarantee that it's got a pH of seven, otherwise tap water is fine. While you wait, you could ask why the ionic compound needs to be dissolved. You should get replies like, the ions are free to flow or move. Add some universal indicator. You need a strong enough colour. Pour the electrolyte then into your YouTube and insert your electrodes. Turn the power supply to 6 volts. Stand back and let the students make their observations. Once you see the universal indicator around the anode bleach and around the cathode become blue, switch the power supply off. Ask your students if they can identify the smell around the YouTube. They should be able to smell chlorine gas. What electrode has the chlorine gas formed at and why? Well, it's the anode, because the chloride ion is negatively charged, so it is attracted to the positive electrode. You might need to, at this point, state the test for chlorine gas. It's the bleached, damp litmus paper. But you can see here that it's also bleached the universal indicator. What happened to the colour of the universal indicator at the cathode? Nice and easy, it's turned blue. But what would that suggest has formed? Well, it's an alkali. What alkalis do the students know? You should be getting answers like sodium hydroxide, but any hydroxide is the right answer. Your next question should be something like, where has that hydroxide come from? Well, the only place is water. The sodium chloride, got no hydroxide there, it's got to have come from the water. Now, if you remove the hydroxide ion from water, what are you left with? Well, a hydrogen ion and that has been attracted to the cathode to form hydrogen gas. The answer to your bubbling at the cathode as well. You could then summarise the products of electrolysis of sodium chloride. Chlorine gas, hydrogen gas and sodium hydroxide solution. This would neatly lead you on to the rules for the products of electrolysis of aqueous solutions ready for the required practical. The total cost for chemical consumables is only one and a half P a go. Be careful of those graphite electrodes though, they're a pound a shot, so look after them. I hope you found this video useful. Please like it and comment it. Subscribe to Any Excuse for a Chemistry Experiment. Lots more videos to come through the academic year. Thank you. Goodbye.